BC's child watchdog says social workers charged with keeping the most vulnerable kids safe cannot keep up with their workloads. And she's renewing calls for the province to hire more of them. It comes after yet another report on horrific abuse and neglect that left a young Indigenous boy dead. Katie DeRosa is our provincial affairs reporter and joins us from Victoria. Katie, what are the main findings in this latest report? Dan, uh, child and youth representative Jennifer Charlesworth found that the vast majority of social workers in BC's child welfare system are so overloaded with cases they can't do their jobs properly. And vulnerable children in the system could be put at risk as a result. That's what happened to an 11 year old Indigenous boy who was tortured and killed by his foster parents in 2021. Charles Roth released a scathing report on the boy she calls Colby last week, calling for a complete overhaul of the current child welfare system. But until that happens, Charles Roth says more social workers must be hired immediately to address the stress, burnout and short staffing that they feel in the Ministry of Children and Family Development. So three quarters of the people saying that they didn't have places that they could refer families to in order to get the supports that they need. That's going to add to a tremendous amount of feeling of, of stress and overwhelm. Katie, how did the shortage of social workers play out in the case of Colby's death and, and what does the government have to say? Well, uh, Charlesworth surveyed 700 ministry social workers, and many of them said that they don't get enough support when cases go wrong, like what happened in Colby's case. Uh, in this case, nobody checked on him or his sister in the seven months leading up to the assault that killed him. Uh, social workers are supposed to meet with foster children once every 90 days. Um, so another thing Charles Ruth found is that one social worker managing Colby's family's case was on sick leave and nobody replaced them. Uh, BC's Minister for Children and Family Development, Grace Lohr, says she's committed to addressing the issues raised in Charles Ruth's report, and she noted that the province has hired more than 200 social workers since last September. And I hear from them the same thing the RCY did uh, regarding uh, the need for them to be supported, for us to hire more folks, uh, and that's work I'm committed to as minister. Minister Lohr says that her ministry has almost 3,400 frontline workers helping families, but the report found that hundreds more are needed. Dan? Katie DeRosa reporting from Victoria. Thanks very much.